Hello, everybody. Let's get started. Last time we were here, we learned a new song and dance called Come Through in a Hurry. Let's sing and pat the beat. Ready and come through in a hurry. Come through in a hurry. Come through in a hurry. Alabama gal. I don't know how, how. I don't know how, how. I don't know how, how. Alabama gal. I'll show you how, how. I'll show you how, how. I'll show you how, how. Alabama gal. Ain't I rock candy? Ain't I rock candy? Ain't I rock candy? Alabama gal. Repeat after me. Oh! Woo woo woo! Let's sing Old Mr. Rabbit. Sing and pat the beat. Ready and old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jumping in my garden and eating all my cabbage. Let's play. All right, so I have my friend Mr. Rabbit who's going to help us with our game today. So we're going to sing through the song, and at the end of the song, we're going to sing, Who Stole My Cabbage? We have six different friends, one of which has Mr. Rabbit's cabbage. We have to listen to their voice to figure out who has the cabbage. Let's take a look at our friends. We have Bear. We have Robin. We have dog, we have pig, we have duck, and we have cat. All right, round one, ready? Ready, old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jumping in my garden and eating all my cabbage. Who stole my cabbage? Well, who do you think it was? It was Duck! Ready, round two. Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jumping in my garden and eating all my cabbage. Who do you think it was? It was Bear, nice job. All right, round three, ready? Old Mr. Rabbit, you've got a mighty habit of jumping in my garden and eating all my cabbage. Okay, who do you think it was? It was Pig! Nice job, everybody. Thank you for getting Mr. Rabbit's cabbage. Let's sing Hogs in the Cornfield and pat the beat. Ready and hogs in the cornfield, cows in the clover. Tell them, pretty girls, I'm coming over. Sing the second phrase on Lou and point, point of fingers. Whoop. Ready and Lou, 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 Lou. And we have our picture here that we made. And last time we were here, we talked about a pitch that is a skip above la, and we can call it high do. Say high do, high do. And it looks like this with the apostrophe to show that it is high. So our phrase then sounds like this. Do, la, so, 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 mi, re, re, do, do. Sing with me and here we go. Do, la, so, 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 mi, re, re, do, do. And when a song uses all five notes, do, re, mi, so, la, and it ends on do, we can call it the do pentatonic scale. When we have high do, it's the extended do pentatonic scale. 
This is how we can read the phrase on a rhythm. Ta di ta ka di ta di mi ta di. Let's sing the hand signs starting on do. Ready and do la so 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 mi re re do do. And here's what it looks like on our ladder. So here are all the notes we've learned. This is do re mi so la. We have lo la and lo so. Lo because they're below do and they have the little commas next to them. And high do is all the way on top with an apostrophe to show that it's high. Let's sing through our steps and skips. Starting with low so, ready and so and la are a step apart. La and do are a skip apart. Do and re are a step apart. Re and mi are a step apart. Mi and so are a skip apart. So and la are a step apart. La and do are a skip apart. Do and la are a skip apart. La and so are a step apart. So and me are a skip apart. Me and re are a step apart. Re and do are a step apart. Do and la are a skip apart. La and so are a step apart. Good job. Here's what our phrase looks like on the staff. We can see that do is on the first space. This is called a do clef and it tells us where we can find do. So do over here is on the first space. Re is up a step on the line. Mi is up a step on a space. Mi to so is a skip, so it's space to space. So up to la, la is on a line. And then la and hi do is a skip, so that's going to be line to line. So hi do is on a line. Regular do is on a space. Interesting. Let's sing on hand signs. Starting on do, ready, do, la, so, 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 mi, re, re, do, do. Good job. Let's play sing Little Liza Jane and Pat the Beat. We'll do the first verse and the first refrain. Ready and come, my love, and go with me, little Liza Jane. Come, my love, and go with me, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Liza Jane. So for this game, we're going to be sitting backwards in our chair. Uh, similar to Hill and Gully Rider, we're going to start off by clapping with our chair. We're gonna go right, clap, left, clap. Come my love and go with me, little Isa Jane. And then every time there's a rest, a break, we're gonna go pat, cross, clap. Except it's gonna go really fast on that part, like this. Clap, just clap. Pat, just clap. And then we go right back into the clap, right, clap, left. So take as much time as you need to get the fast part uh, and then follow along with me. Let's start. Ready? Come my love and go with me, little Isa Jane. Come my love and go with me, little Isa Jane. House in Baltimore, little Isa Jane. Streetcar runs right by my door, little Isa Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Isa Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Isa Jane. I got a house in Baltimore, little Isa Jane. Brussels carpet on the floor, little Isa Jane. Baltimore, little Isa 
played on my door, little Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Oh, Eliza, little Eliza Jane. Let's sing I Lost the Farmer's Dairy Key. Sing and pat the beat. Ready? I lost the farmer's dairy key. I'm in some lady's garden. Do, do, let me out. I'm in some lady's garden. Sing on a rhythm. Ready? And dee ta 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 dee ta dee ta dee ta dee ta ta and this song does use high do. It does not use low la or low so, so we're not going to worry about that. We have do, re, mi, so, la, and high do. La and high do are a skip apart. Let's sing the extended do pentatonic scale starting on do. Ready? Do, re, mi, so, la, do, do, la, so, mi, re, do. Let's sing I Lost the Farmer's Dairy Key on hand signs. Make sure you see we have high do with the apostrophe right here. Okay? It starts on do, nice and slow, ready, and do, mi, so, so, la, so, mi, do, re, mi, so, so, la, so, mi, do, do, so, mi, do, re, How'd you do? Well, friends, it's Black History Month, which means we get to celebrate, honor, and acknowledge all of African American history and culture. And last time we talked about Louis Armstrong. Today we're going to talk about Ella Fitzgerald. She was born April 25th, 1917 in Newport News, Virginia, and raised in Yonkers, New York. She grew up listening to Louis Armstrong and other well-known jazz musicians. She became known for her scat singing and light and breezy voice. She had a couple of different nicknames such as First Lady of Song and Queen of Jazz. She also sang opera and appeared in many different movies and TV shows throughout her career. She became the first African-American woman to win a Grammy in 1958, and she won a total of 13 Grammys. So we're going to listen to a little bit of her scat singing. Uh, remember, scat is just nonsense syllables that don't make any sense. So here is Ella Fitzgerald scatting. So you hear it's not real words, it's just made up syllables. But it takes a lot of practice to get that good. So she was one of the best scat singers around. Speaking of scatting, Let's try a little scatting ourselves. So we're going to follow the line with our voice, but we're going to follow on a vop sound. So ready, pointer fingers, whoop. Ready, vop. Let's try it on a squee, ready? Squee. 
on a zay sound. Ready? Zay. And a beep. Ready? Beep. Now, we're going to try doing all four in a row. We'll do each one for four counts, okay? So, starting with VOP for four counts. Ready? And VOP. Squeeze. Now, let's try it for every two counts. Ready? Bop, squeeze, beep. Every one count. Ready? Bop, squeeze, beep. How'd you do? So today's story is Little People, Big Dreams. Ella Fitzgerald, written by Ma Isabel Sanchez Vegara, illustrated by Barbara Alka. Little Ella grew up in Yonkers, New York, with her mother, stepfather, and sister. She had a beautiful voice and loved to sing jazz. But one day, tragedy struck. Her mother died suddenly in a car accident. Ella was heartbroken. Ella went to live with her aunt, but she didn't like her new life. She started skipping school and got into trouble, so she was sent to a strict school as punishment. She was treated very badly there, so one day she ran away. Ella made a living by singing and dancing on the street corners of Harlem. The street was her first stage. But one night she entered a competition to perform on a real stage at one of the most famous theaters in New York. She was very nervous, but dazzled the crowd with her sweet, tuneful voice. She won first prize. That night, Ella was so excited and she couldn't sleep. She imagined herself singing on an even bigger stage, accompanied by her very own orchestra. It wasn't long before big band leader Chick Webb offered Ella her first singing job. Together, they traveled all over the country performing in jazz clubs. Ella's career was taking off. Ella never sang a song the same way twice. She turned somersaults with her voice and learned to imitate every instrument in the band. She used her songs to express how she felt and made up new sounds on the spot. Sometimes she invented new words like doobie 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 da. She also sang slow songs as sweet as lullabies. Her velvety voice wrapped around the audience like a blanket. Eventually, Ella decided it was time to leave the band and go solo. All the jazz greats wanted to perform with her. The telephone didn't stop ringing. Ella tried every musical style from bop to swing. Her voice growled, swooped, and soared. She mastered show tunes, pop, opera, and blues, taking her music to new places until the day she retired. And that's how little Ella became the first lady of song. As she always said, it isn't where you came from, it's where you're going that counts. All right, friends, well, before you go, make sure you complete uh, the assignment. There is an audio button you can click to hear the questions being read or sung to you. Some answers may be an audio or video submission, so make sure you get that done. And most importantly, have fun. I'll see you next time.